We're now going to talk about dilutions, or what happens to the concentration of a solution when we add water to it. In every case, we're going to increase the volume, which is going to give us a decrease in the molarity of the solution. The way that we approach dilutions in this class is we use this formula. M1V1 equals M2V2. M1 and V1 are the molarities at the beginning and the molarities at the end. V1 and V2 are the volume at the beginning and the volume at the end. And with this formula, when using volume, it can be in liters or milliliters, as long as it's the same on both sides. That is, as long as the units match on both sides of the equation, we can use any units we want. So V1 and M1 are going to be starting. M2 and V2 are going to be our final, um, the final concentration of the solution and the final volume of the solution. So suppose I have a problem that says this. 30 milliliters of 0.2 molar solution is diluted to 45 milliliters. We're going to find the new concentration. So taking my approach to this problem, this is my starting volume. This is my starting molarity. We are going to add water to it. So if I were drawing a picture of this, initially in my graduated cylinder, I would have 30 milliliters. And then we're going to add water to it until that line comes up to 45. We've added 15 milliliters, but my final volume, my V2, is 45. Plugging these into my formula, M1 V1 equals M2 V2. One thing I did take a second to check was to make sure that both volumes were in the same units. If one of them was liters and one of them was milliliters, I'd need to make sure to convert them so that they were in the same units. So 0.2 times 30 divided by 45 gives me my M2 as 0.133 molar. One thing you're going to need to be careful with in problems like this is whether we are saying it's diluted to 45 versus added to some amount. For this problem, I could have said 30 milliliters of solution added to 15 milliliters of water because those two things combined would give me 45 and this is the same thing as 30 milliliters diluted to 45. In one case you'll have to combine things to find V2 and the other case we're going to give you V2 directly and you need to be careful of the difference between those two types of problems. To elaborate on the difference in wording that you can see between certain questions, we wrote out two examples here for you. So in the first case, 30 milliliters of water is added to 20 milliliters of 1.5 molar solution. What should I use for V1 and what should I use for V2 for this problem? The solution that I'm starting with is the 20 milliliters and then I added water to it. In this case, we took 20 we added 30 to it, giving us a final volume of 50 milliliters. The second question is different. I'm starting with the same solution. But now, rather than adding 30 milliliters, I'm diluting it to 30 milliliters. So I took 20, I added some amount of water until I finished at 30. How much water did I add? You should be able to answer that question. And in some problems where you solve for V2, you'll be asked how much water was added, which you can figure out by subtraction, what's the difference between your initial volume and your ending volume. 